We're standing here in front of the White House uh, with Maryam Al Khawaja from Bahrain. She is the sister of Zainab Al Khawaja, who has uh, gone on a hunger strike uh, until her father, uh, Abdul Hadi, is released from prison. He was arrested by uh, authorities, what, it's been two weeks maybe? No, my father was arrested last Saturday. Last Saturday. Yeah, my uncle's been arrested for three weeks. That's what it is. Yeah. So, Miriam, you're here in Washington. What is it you're asking? Well, um, as a human rights activist, I've been here in Washington for about a month, and I have been having meetings with the authorities here. Um, and my main concern has been that America, or the U.S. administration, takes a stronger stand when it comes to the human rights violations and abuses that are taking place in Bahrain. And unfortunately, we haven't seen that happen yet. What is it specifically you'd be happy to see? Well, first of all, I ask that there be a stronger statement that has more detail about specific issues because in the future when you come back and you want to assess what happened since then, you have specific issues that you could refer to. Um, but that we haven't seen. And another thing is to put uh, the Lee Amendment into order and to use that um, to put a ban on arms to the GCC countries which are using U.S.-made weapons against unarmed civilians. Now, you've been in Washington having talks for a month. Have you had talks this week since the situation escalated? Well, um, a few nights ago, I was actually at the U.S. Islamic World Forum, and I was able to speak to Secretary Clinton for a few minutes uh, after a speech she gave at the dinner. I saw that. And uh, did she have any positive message for you? Well, after I told her about the situation in Bahrain, and I also told her about my father's situation, she thanked me and she told me that she hopes that my father gets out safe. And uh, uh, if you had a message to give President Obama right now and you had a chance to look at him directly in the eyes, what would you say? I would say, President Obama, our children's lives are just as precious as yours. And if you love your children, then you should love ours too. And I would really pray that you take a stand to save the children of Bahrain, who were really expecting you to do this a long time ago, but have now are now feeling hopeless to that extent. And I really hope that you prove uh, all the critics wrong and actually take a strong stand in saying that human rights come before interests. Thank you.